exactly like you, Ares. Oh, thank you, brother. I so think kind. You're, a, you're an amazing caster. In, in, even even with you being an Aussie, it, it's kind of working out well. well huh? uh, <laughs> what is what does me being an Aussie have to do with this? You have to fight off all those spiders and kangaroos, and you're still able to cast. For me, that's just incredible. You're wow. you're an inspiration. In any case, I think the glazing's your points, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I think your points were all right for. For you. All there right. You go. Just all right. What the? What the? For you. For you. I mean, you had some nice calls. What's that here. supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that I I do see the possibility for Team Zero to play in so many different combos and get kills. Like Lion plus anyone on this lineup, even with the bat. Like the two supports can do so much work. Lion sent. Lion Pango. Lion Alchemist. Once he gets farm. I like Team Zero's draft a bit more when it comes to playing the way Azure played in game one. And that's like being active constantly and doing stuff. Is there enough chaos from uh, Team Zero? I don't think so. Um, not like in game one with that Primal Beast. This is a bit different. But it is Ori Storm. And yeah. like you can never really <laughs> uh, go against Ori Storm that easily. He's going to find a way. Yeah, I had to Ori Storm... And a good lane matchup, and with a crystal maiden as well. That's like <laughs> that can be enough sometimes. So let's see. Let's see how good of uh, games Ori gonna have, and what the item build's gonna be as well. You know, there are, I think arguments for him going Orchid, although Orchid was nerfed a little bit. I still think maybe it's a little bit more situational compared to what it was previously, especially on Storm. But it could just be your, your classic, you know, Witchblade, Kaya. The, the triple the triple blade with falcon blade there as well if he wants so let's see let's see what Ori can cook up i'd go i'd go something classic and then um get a bkb as fast as possible yeah you need to yeah yeah and you if you have an incredible game actually i think lincoln's is way too luxury i was gonna say lincoln's kind of nice but i think there's just way better items like i'd like a septon and him this game eventually I just don't know where you fit Lincoln's in eventually. It's just not as good as what it used to be. So, what on, on be being happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't want him to do it. Like I, I, it's you know, it used to be nice before with the region and everything. But I think with the addition of Scepter, I don't want that over Lincoln's. You're happy with just BKB? Yeah, we'll see. A lot of stats, no matter what. Like th that Sanj and uh, Kaya, maybe. We'll see. Um, like you said, Witchblade, Parasma, Parasma and Witchblade, they did get touched in the last patch, but still good. That's Parasma, not Witchblade. Witchblade it, isn't Witchblade's uh, like magic damage dot lower? Or is it only on Parasma? Uh, the Parasma only got nerfed. Okay. So I was oh. sure I saw the Witchblade intelligence down to 70% as dot damage. I'm checking now. Blade intelligence. Oh, maybe it is down as well. Okay. It doesn't say if you hover over Witchblade, it doesn't say it got nerfed. But then Parasma says Witchblade intelligence. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit weird. Yeah, okay. maybe, so maybe, maybe it's only on nerfed. Parasma. Yeah, maybe it's only on Parasma. In any case, uh, still a very good item for these int cores. Uh, oh, yep, from the yep, mid lane, yep. I feel like it's almost a must on 90% of them. There are, there is, there just isn't anything better. Uh, so far, nothing really crazy happening in the lanes. Uh, only Storm winning against Pango, which is to be kind of expected. You are playing into a melee hero that got nerfed, by the way. The swashbuckle is a nerf uh, mm. in my eyes. In my eyes, it's a nerf. I don't know. Like you're hitting less. But the damage early on is better. Yeah. One thing to to keep an eye on as well is just how Erica plays, how YSR plays on the, the Alchemist. Because again, we've really seen so far there has been just a, a trend for him only being on ranged carries. We've seen the Clinks, the Drow, Luna, Weaver. Wait, uh, it, it's it's ten less damage, Ares. What, sorry? Are you on looking at the Witchblade still? No, 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 Swashbuckle. Oh, yeah. Like, it's three okay, times yeah, 30 sorry. or four times 25, right? So it's, it's ten less damage. It, is it just maybe... level one that's less? On level 1 it's less, on level 2 it's 3 times 60 instead of... So what? that's 180 versus 4 times 45 which is the same. 
So on level two it's the same. On level one it's less. I'm not sure about level three. I, I, that's too much. The, the numbers are big. Too much. It's too much. Big, big le numbers. Le level four it's just more I'll damage. By a I'll bit. send it to my uni professor. He can he can do the <laughs> math. maths. <laughs> math is not math right now. Alright, well, what about the builds going to be for beyond this game as well? We've just got the classic. We want to go some points in retaliate against the troll spam. Or if it's just going to be the stock standard here for the centaur. Uh, low should have a very good lane lun nonetheless, and it is going to mean the supports will be a little bit more free to rotate, as we already see from Tian Ming. Try and secure one oh, of the water runes. So much is, yeah, this is crazy. I mean, he wants a rune for himself. Another yeah, first bite. It's really not Polo. worth it at this point. Yeah. At this point, he needs to base. Like, he, he just got zoned to base. Like, he was trying to run next to Tianmin without uh, using a build. Oh, Ori? Oh my god, dude, this is huge. Wow, that's so close to getting. First blood onto a, a not a good, not a favorable lane matchup for the Pango. Yeah, that's go game. That, that's literally go base. I have to. Oh. Arc top, top lane. lane. Oh, nice flame no. break. Nice yeah. flame break ZZQ. Wow. Perfect timing. That's actually... That, that was hype. That was hype. Very nicely done. Huge wave pushing in for Ori, so... You will find that farm under the tower. Lion is rotating back in, though. Uh, what do you do, though? Pongo is so low. He might even die here. This might be a kill. He has a TP, but there's a CM coming. This is your first blood. Ah, oh, that's huge. Ah, the heck? Oh. Yikes. That, uh, you can't be given Storm first blood. Ah, uh, it's just... He's been, like... All of this stems off of that Crystal Maiden River fight because he never went base. He just continued running around with 50% HP. Tech is TPing now mid. They want this. He's level 6 though, and there's a ward. Let's go. Just a refill. Level 3 is more as well in the swashbuckle. 10 more. <laughs> it took, me, uh, took, me, took me two minutes. Just had to, you know, I just, had, just had to do the numbers. I had to get my pen and paper, bottom lane, low. <laughs> Should be able to get the kill under the troll wall. Now they will. Now the river. Seven is actually got level six before Ori. But he's going to miss all the stuns. Now it gets one, but it is he's got very messy. Now they can actually turn it potentially with FY here. Oh, he's watched aggressively. He's got the shield. Okay, never mind. He's fine. I think he's fine. Should be, yeah. He's got, he's got range drop. He's got nine one charges. If you dive him, you probably die even. Now the ward will be refilled as well. The the bottle that is. Yeah. If he didn't get that shield rune, if it was something a bit more useless, they definitely could have gotten that kill. I love how Ori was going? waiting on that one creep, by the way, to die. That one range creep. He knew it's gonna happen, and then he gets six. Ori is going Orchid too, as well. So, I mean, a very, very debilitating item versus the Pango. You are maybe looking at an early Yules for 7e as a result. Uh, speaking of Yules, I wonder if. Bark is, even goes for Yules this game. You know, we've seen this has been the Amar build. In fact, he just goes Yules regardless. It doesn't even matter on uh, on who he's versing. Yep. So if he wants that to be able to set up for, for something. I do like it on Mars. It gives you also this uh, yep. movement speed, right? Like mana that you need. It's really a nice build on him. But with the Soul Ring and two Bracers, I'm not sure. Let's see. I, I, I still think it would be fine. Get that extra catch going for you. Lowe's having a great time down bottom though. I mean, this alchemist completely untouched. Top net worth. And we'll see. He's going to be going for the Battle Fury this game. Already making his own stacks. Let's miss that one a little bit. Fortunately, 
And Ori's got some great stacks as well to fall back on thanks to FY. So importantly, this is going to give FY a lot of levels that he's currently lacking. I didn't actually see it. What was the wisdom room like? It was a one for one. Crazy. Yep. Any stacks for FY though for YSR? I've got a couple. Yeah, Ponlo made them once beyond. We might have to pop the stampede here. Yeah. How can they use it uh, on a different side of the map? Uh, they can't. Just Erika brewing up the stun, but stunning himself eventually. Whenever I see a random ass stampede that happens like that just to rescue the centaur, I see a kill somewhere else on the map. Unexpectedly, you know, that stampede mm. comes in. And this time it didn't happen. Might be eyeing up the Alchemist top. There's a bit of a window with the Chemical Rage on cooldown. FY was stepping up, but Isar went back to collect the Lotus. He might even go for his own pull if he wants to. And they're actually going to double rotate low along with Tiaming. Tiaming's already level 6. Yeah, this is that a good rotation to take down the tier 1 tower as well, ZZQ. Might be the one that dies. Most likely will be, yep. I've seen this move like so much from AR and uh, G2IG as well. Most uh, tier 1 teams just rotate the carry in. You can get the kill, you can get the tower and then you just go back. And you continue farming like nothing happened. Storm tipping bottom. They don't have stampede yet. In a couple seconds, but I think they're gonna be able to get the kill beforehand. Not gonna use it regardless. Tiaming was holding frostbite. Or came back yeah. off cooldown, I didn't see the start. He could have used it, but he dies. Like you said, frostbite was still there, so. Nothing for Centaur hey. to hope for. They gotta get Ponless in levels, only level 4 right now on the line. Got to get him involved in the game. Would like to see... I was going to say, I'd like to see them smoke, but... Are you going to smoke a level 4 lion? Not the best, definitely. ZZQ getting way more when it comes to that. Uh, when it comes to experience. The problem is, like, in a game such as this one, you're playing into a storm. So if you're sitting on a lane, just chilling, getting experience, you might even get jumped. So he has to be a bit more careful, a bit more back. Not getting all the XP. Can make some stacks. When they are farmed, he's gonna get XP. Oh, he tried stacking with the Hex. <laughs> I, 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 I guess he knows. But, uh, yeah. One creep goes and the Hexed one was just chilling after. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm, I'm a stupid creep. <laughs> Why was I a frog? <laughs> Uh, game slowed yeah. down. Uh, Alchemist is Maelstrom actually. Really? Top lane for 70. I think I don't know if they kill a Bark. Doesn't really have the greatest position to utilize the rolling thunder and it's taken far too long as AR being able to react. That's your first movement out of 70 as well. He's cooking. This alchemist is cooking something. Uh... Oh he's cooking, is he? Alright. Yeah, All right. He's 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 cooking. Let him cook, let him cook. I want to see where this goes. What no kind radiance, of... really? What, what mean, kind it's... of a dish are we brewing? Let's see, let's see. Okay. I, just, I think Misfus Roll and Storm are quite nice. I agree, let I him agree. Cook. But, but what about lightning? Isn't lightning cool? Ah. You get to yeah. you get to zap people. I mean, it's What's got he... true strike, right? The the procs. So I don't yes. know if that is. Yeah, but uh... that's the that's like one of the best things about it. Plus, you attack really fast, so you're gonna have those procs happening very often. Uh, but yeah, radiance most likely my favorite as well. Not most likely for sure my favorite item on him. But there there was a patch. Or two in which this was a build as well, and uh, there was a patch yeah, in which yeah, yeah. Battle Fury was a build as well on Alchemist. So it's not completely crazy, but uh, let him cook. Just let him cook. Let's see what happens. All right, Orca timing 13 minutes in, and both sides are going to mirror to top. And this, without a doubt, will favor Radiant. 
Uh, this Orchid reveal is going to catch him off guard. And not the Kiro as well with the pink glare. Then people get them out of the threat of the, the techies blast off. Yeah, that's what they are okay. Nothing. Just because Polno was in the right position. It's like, <clears throat> he is level 5, but it's all that he needs. It's not about the damage, it's about the control. They are pinging beyond now. They, he doesn't have Stampede. This might be troll. Never mind. Too deep, too deep. Very passive game. Yeah, Ori is top though, so... Uh, he is jumping. Long zip in. No mana now to work with if they want to take the team fight afterwards. Devonese gonna show up. We'll be able to target down the fine bouncing off the crystals. You even have YSR swing on over as well. Bark's oh. a much more difficult kill. Especially now with the concoction not gonna cast it. And Bark is not dead just yet. And now with Low showing up. The Zap will blow him up. Beyond's going to be forced to react as well as Ori's in a lot of trouble. Zero mana and a beautiful stun from Ponlo. Lined up onto three. Troll's going to get chased down. Ultimate activated, but what damage have you got, my friend? It is not enough. This is a gigantic fight for Dyer. Triple kill for 7e with zero casualties, I believe, or maybe one bad. person went down. In fact, <clears throat> no, no one. Bad, bad died. Uh, if you Middle. count bad, because he was the one initiated on, right? Like Storm got him, and then uh, Pango TP'd in. Insane! Like, very nicely done by Team Zero uh, to respond. Even even though I thought it was gonna be a disaster once Alchemist stunned Radiant's himself. He was cooking for way too long, didn't throw that uh, bomb on the Mars and got stunned. But now he has that full Mjolnir. It's a lot of damage, like this early on. It's a lot of control versus uh, versus Storm as well. And if you jump in and just use Orchid and all your mana on a bat rider, be damn sure they will counterplay you. The defusal on Pangolier doing wonders, and now he has a blink on top of that. Blink defusal arcane rune. Expect a move from them. There's a blink on Centaur as well. Jules is purchased, mm. by the way, by Mars, like you, like you wished for. I was kind of hunting for Bach. I've got a bit of an idea of where he is currently. Yeah, they want to steal his stacks, if nothing else. Oh, he's a sad boy. He worked so hard for that. Radiant's top tower is under attack. At least he doesn't die. That's the main thing. He does not die. Low is farming. Being progressing towards that next item, being the Sanjin Yasha. The T1 tower is going to be claimed. They're going to invade into the jungle as well, take a little bit of farm. Maybe they want to set up bottom. Beyond. Gonna TP in. AI do have some members nearby. They're going to go for the center. Nice sidestep from Ori. Pondo's going to miss the stun. Ori's going to be cautious about the mana pool though. 70 is going to reveal the blink. Jumping up two heroes simultaneously. Storm. 70 trying to address the storm spread and they'll be rewarded. Pomlo zaps him down and 70's Pango. I uh, was showcasing his true strength on the hero. Alchemist is in. feel like they can team fight. Is this correct? I mean, FY is going to find a pretty good angle for the double stun. But Logis is having a lot of difficulties with entering on the troll lord without the items. 70 with the shield crash is still in some danger, but Low is slow to a crawl. It's going in. Alchemist. And now they might go back in. Dian Ming's going to be the target. They need to Kai play their distance. ZZQ's got a, a lack of health issue, but YSR does not have that at all. He can charge on forward. Oh, all these blink daggers coming into play. It doesn't matter that you can reset with the arena. Your storm is dead. Nicely done by Ponlo. Getting that zap in, and this is a guy that had min minute 11, level 4. Now he has a blink dagger as well on his lion. This is perfect for him. He's feeling it. Mid lane. We are TPing and with the storm, with the techies, but it's not enough damage at the moment. Really not enough damage for them to kill off anyone before they get answered. And... Okay, they want to do it again. Ah, he's got the boys behind him though. Or he's going to jump over the top. But again, the rolling thunder from 70. The chain control is just proving 
far too much of an issue. Now, YSR as well. A blink for Bill and Zero are cooking this game. They will not go down without a fight. Game one was a blip on the radar, but this second game, 6,000 net worth lead for them 18 minutes in. Let them cook. And what's so nice about that fight is the fact that Team Zero read it perfectly. They didn't have any wards. They just knew it's coming. Like, Pangolier was pre-using uh, Rolling Thunder waiting for that jump to happen. Like, he knows it's coming. And then instantly as it happens, he responds with uh, Rolling Thunder and the Blink. 70 just playing out of his mind, really carrying yeah. his team super damn hard. I the person who's feeling it the most is Ori Storm Spirit. You go this orchid to the snowball and get pickoffs, and yep. he's got nothing since his item. Oh, we see he's falling very far behind now. Yeah, he's got a bit of a health issue, like you called it. He's on no health 24 7. Every time he goes in, he just dies. Um, the Stampede is messing with him actually quite a lot too. They have a lot of control for him and then he, they then they have Stampede to run away. The Mars Arena just wasn't there on on the mid lane fight obviously. He got controlled too. Like you you can't save your spells for the perfect opportunity. That's the problem. Like if you're playing this uh, Team Azure's draft right now with a 7k deficit, you just need to use your spells. My is going to get a free kill. He on me. What's going on? <laughs> Bot lane uh, Rosh may be an option for them after the tier 1 tower. It is still very early on, but you have DD on Pango. Alchemist to Tacit Spray. Don't need to rush it though, it's not... Like, you, you, you'd waste a lot of your time. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Right. It doesn't lead. Uh, it, how much... If, if Lo is able to rival the Alchemist's farm, or, of course it's a bit difficult to do that because of the, the nature of Elk, but let's say like Lo is able to keep up somewhat in net worth, how do we feel about the troll's potential for success in this game? I mean, he can, but it's much harder for him to have a good game than it is for Alchemist. That's the way I see it. Alchemist, growing up. I like the patience as well for YSR. You saw he was just kind of waiting for the Crystal Maiden to move more forward just in case there was someone else playing behind him that would they would have rather jumped. Polo. Polo yeah, he's him. gonna be able to catch him as well just as the TP comes through, so secondary pickoff. Is the finger Polo, well. come on. <laughs> the stacks. <laughs> Get the stacks. A little something extra for the end. Yeah, double kill. It, it's just much, much easier for... I, th I like the troll to welcome's matchup, by the way. I think it's good for troll, but you need... Um, you need your teammates as well, and I feel that Team Zero is doing way more for this Alchemist than Azure will be able to do for the troll. They need BKBs on Azure. They need all of them, straight up. All three cores. Troll, the closest one, Storm... Not really close, and Mars is... Yeah, he's sitting on 2.4k gold. You need these BKBs. I feel like every fight you take at the moment will be a losing fight. I'm not sure how big of a difference the BKBs will make if uh, the network advantage continues to be like this for Team Zero. But you need them. Like, regardless. It's the only way you come back into this. I guess it's just a question of like how much can Team Zero get across the map before the BKBs then? Because his network lead is continuing to grow and really whenever they want to they can look for Roche. You know, maybe it's maybe it's now, they are all clumped yeah. around bottom, maybe they want this T2 tower first just to it looks, make it, it a little like bit more Roche. difficult. You called it very well. Looks like Roche straight into the pit, acid spray. Asher's the all-important thing, usually this is like... This can be the big thing about the Troll versus the Alchemist matchup, if Troll is able to get it early on. But this will definitely enable YSR. Go for the man fight. Oh, and now you've got the Aegis as well. Do you give it to 70, this Aegis? Still picks it up. Okay. Yep. He's got... Uh, 
He's got a lot of damage this game, even without uh, the form. Like, even without the form, yeah, he dies most likely without it, but even without Dyer's Chemical Rage, he still hits really top. fast, really hard. He's got SNY, Mjolnir, and Basher. Like, this is a hero on its own without the Chemical Rage. And then on top of that, of course, they are smoking up. They have a BKB probably on Troll, right? Yeah, Lou has a BKB. That's why the smoke up, but... The scary engagement anyway for them. Dyer's structures are fortified. Wanting to see back to T2 Tower. Dyer's middle tower is under I'm just gonna get popped there. Are a little bit disconnected now. This this fight Three under the smoke, they're actually gonna see the storm. Yeah. Oh BKB from beyond. But 70 as well with a counter. We're gonna try and catch any stragglers before they get back to the safety of their half of the map. Now the doubt Crystal Maiden will not make it. Devonese also going to be able to catch up to low. Great stun from Ponlo. Low He's going to eat the combo now with the arena. Oh my lord. Look at the damage potential. Okay. Finally, the combo is going to be there from AR, but the response. And Team Zero will still strike back. YSR blows up Arc. Yeah. I have to say, they, they gotta be careful with one thing. Like, even though you're far ahead and in front, you're 9k ahead. It is an Alchemist game. 5k of that advantage is on him. You have to still take the fights properly with proper vision I, I don't think that you can just jump high ground and be careless even though you're in front if you get caught you will die to the techies and mars damage without anything else so and also this troll has a bkb now so he's starting to hurt too he's keeping both oh beyond nice stun is actually enough to be able to buy some time but still with a chemical rage on cooldown first life gone they're gonna set up for a second round. Rolling Thunder is still down. Nice Ysar is able to get the blink away, but unfortunately Beyond will be caught and sent to his grave. They want to Here fight. They got, a hug. they got a good ward. Well, it's gonna be the first to start. The chain control needs to be perfect before the battle transit. It looks like it might be for the Yule Scepter. Ah, by some valuable seconds below. And now they might see an opportunity to be able to jump back in, but the Ulfus is not an easy kill again on low. Another great double stun. Dion Ming caught on the cliff. Oh, and Ponlo oh. <laughs> having a much different second game. This line putting in work inside the team fights. Oh, very, very nice impales. I love how they get baited that they can kill the Alchemist just because he doesn't have BKB. Usually you see this Alchemist, you're like, yeah, he has no BKB, let's go. We can, we can do it, but this man slaps. Like, he turns on you and you're just gone in an instant. Big, big issue they had that fight is troll without the BKB. That's why Pomo can do everything. That's why the hexes, the impales, everything ca earth spikes coming from him. If there's a BKB on Troll, he can just pop it, pop his ulti and go in, but it's uh, it didn't happen. And Team Zero, it looked a bit hairy, to be honest, for me. All this advantage and the fights weren't looking super easy, but nice, nice turn by them. Agony is setting up for another fight. Yeah. A hex completed on that Pangolier. Thank you. Or he's gonna show him. Ponlo's just open. The boys are behind him, but there's a smoke. For them to jump. Mm -hmm. Who's the target? Really? Isa is gonna go through the portal, so it looks like they will be off the mark with this. 15, 20 seconds earlier, and they even get him on the creeps, but not like this. They need to. Okay, low. Because he's showing, you know where they are. You should at least. ZZQ, he's waiting for that. He's literally just Radiant waiting for that smoke. And his teammates as well, because they might counter. See, he's attack. blinking in. Too far. Like usually, when you didn't see the carry for the full 15 seconds, and then he shows up, pushing in your tier 1, um, this tier one down bottom, you can expect the enemy team to be invading the triangle. And, uh, they just don't feel comfortable enough doing it without wards. They have this one ward around the tier two mid, but it, it's not enough. Mine is truly a blessed life. That's. I think it's crazy the fact that this Pango is zero deaths this game. Into a first item orchid on Storm. I'm very, very impressed with 70's performance.
and Ponlos, by the way. He's the one that saved him so many times. There's also the Centaur with the Stampede that helped out. 70 played out of his mind, too, for sure. Was helped. They will, uh, they'll take the Wisdom Room, which is something. Both gonna go the way of Radiant. By See the way, how they can store this. <clears throat> you talked about Lincoln's on Storm, and that's what he's buying. Actually, no BKB. You went for Lincoln's. I. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I'm skeptical. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. I maybe I'm thinking Lincoln Scepter, or it might still go BKB. I just don't know if it's, he's gonna completely avoid it now if he wasn't gonna go this uh, at this item. So we'll see. We'll see what the choice is gonna be for Ori or not. Uh, smoke from zero may actually run into Tian Ming, which of course is you're happy with giving up a couple kills. Roll up. Yeah, looks like they will. So even tipping in the alchemist just in case anyone else is here. But it is just Tian Ming. So importantly, uh, this is what's going to happen when you're playing from this deficit. You will just you're going to have to lose some members so everyone else can get farm onto the map. Mm-hmm. It's your your job, really, Radiant from time to time. And Storm actually goes through the Twin Portal, goes down bot, continues farming. They do have these defensive items now, so arguably you could take a fight if you have perfect vision. But there's a 15k advantage. It's not easy no matter how you look at it. BKB on Troll, BKB on Mars, but still no defensive item on, on the Storm Spirit. He just wants to creep skip, it seems like. He went through... Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. We poke high ground here. Right, it looks that way. They see storm. They see Mars. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Let's see Look if Dyer glyphs as well to protect the wave. Is that cut top? Are we going to glyph? I think this is good enough, right? Like you force glyph and you move back. Ori needs to be Ori. extremely careful. Oh no, he zipped his ECQ. Oh. 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 <laughs> what? The the the, the slow oh the slow from God. the hit. And now mid lane, what? what's going on? Alchemist. Ah, uh, is this a fight they want to try and take? Seven E. Bump in, stampede to reset the positioning. Bark is still got arena. Seven E's gonna clip him just on the end of the rolling thunder. Is Bark oh, to go illusion. for it though? Illusion. It's just an illusion. And now they may. Hey, it's gonna work out for them. Bark is just blown up. And Ori doesn't have a lot of mana to hear. I would escape. He's stuck. Can't He's he like, boys, I need help. But the boys, what can they do? They got an Alchemist BKB running at them. And Low is nowhere to be seen. This troller wants nothing to do with the team fight. Why is Zard's going to be able to jump over the top and get the tech? He's there still on Ori as well. No mana for the Storm Spirit. And one by one they go in. And one by one they all die. Not all. <laughs> Troll is living still, if that matters, if that means anything, because he doesn't have a BKB, which is the reason why he didn't want to join. Like, no BKB, no Troll. Really nice bait there on the illusion. Everything fell apart. Like, Bax just got super baited. Like, he went in, used pretty much the Yules, which is so important, and the Spear. Baited the Storm as well. Storm was late anyway to the fight, because he had no mana from the top fight. Needed to get that back. Yeah, terrible. This is uh, at least melee. And top lane is also very low. Thank you. Looking for the spear angle. Oh, BKB. Maybe able to get the connection, but are you killing Alchemist? It's a lot of damage for the mines. They're a little bit hesitant now with Ori zipping back from base. Why is Hans going to go down? Is this the start they need to be able to get more as well? 19,000 deficit, you need to catch some stragglers. Maybe 70 as well. He's going to be able to get the Pango. This is a vital kill. 7-0 streak. A lot of gold given over to Ori. Oh, that's a Lincoln's right there. 800, 900 gold for the Storm Spirit. You do lose a side, but this, th these are kind of a fights that you ha really have to take. How much gold did uh, Alchemist give? Just check it out, please. 1200 to one hero and then 1400 among the other ones <laughs> that's a huge swing that's a huge swing of gold that's a satanic control bark? yeah he can, can oh, he? i think he can can he, can he? 
<laughs> 30 health. 30 health. <laughs> oh, bulwark. <laughs> How does it work when you're when you're uh, when you're a sheep? By the way, when does a shield? How does a sheep ha have a ah, shield? We don't, we don't question these things, brother. We uh, we let okay. the mechanics do their own things. I see, I see. In any case, uh, get Roche? it would be huge. Roche is up. I don't know why it's in there. It doesn't see it, right? They changed it, yeah. I think they changed it. I think they have. They see it. I sw what? Didn't I thought that got? Wasn't that changed? I, I thought I'm, that I'm... was changed. Yeah, same. Anyways, they're smoked up. They're going in. This is going to be maybe on time. Even radiant have scanned. Yeah, they're good. moving back. It's still decent for you if you can set up mines on radiant. Like, would be a nice fight. You have high ground. You have this outpost as well to TP to. What about the buybacks? They have buybacks. Bark was... He, he was the catalyst for that uh, that recent team fight success. He's got to go crazy once again on the Mars. Is it Q? And Beyond's got to try and jump in. Targeting down low, but Lowe's going to be able to act with the BKB, but Seveny comes crashing to the middle, but he's stuck. The Pango is stuck, and Lowe is turning for Roche. Is there any way to be able to stop him? Beyond's going to try and get in the middle, and he stutters, he's got it. and he snatches. Who gets it? Second line, another fight potentially for AR as well as 7E. What a disaster of a team fight, and how are we in this position where this game is even? I, I'm looking at that team fight and I can't believe what I'm seeing because sometimes Gaben is just on your side. I'm telling you, this is this is a thing. I think Gaben is like some big brother watching all these games and using creeps. Or Ice Frog, whatever. Like, Alchemist jumps in, he has his Abyssal, right? And he has his Chemical Rage. And if he starts hitting you, you can't do anything because he controls you. You know what happens? He jumps in, Rosh slaps him, and he gets stunned for a second, which allows Troll to use all of his. It allows everything. Like, they lose the fight off of that one second goddamn stun. And then I'm, I don't even want to talk about Pango getting stuck in, in the cliffs and whatnot. Just. I don't know. I'm, I'm pissed. Like, really sad for Team Zero. They worked hard to be where they're at. Like, it, it looked like their game, and they did do a little bit of trophy uh, around the mid lane fights, but god damn, that was rough. Brother, what just happened? Uh, that's Lou with an Aegis too. now. What? Alright, they're gonna try and blow him up to zero. Reeves gonna activate the BKB, but still with the Abyssal Blade, he still gets the ultimate up! That's where the last okay, was able to come into play. It's a lot committed on the first life on low, and Park, he's actually gonna miss as well, but we gotta keep in mind, Scepter was actually just completed for the Storm Sphere. That's not that bad, though. They're Why? jumping in, refresher on Park. Nice sure Scepter. Not just a rolling thunder, now Park's gonna try and find another angle. Lacking a little bit of mana, will it be a concern? A lot was forced out, and no one dies. Yeah, that, that actually isn't that bad for Team Zero, because you force everything. I'm, I'm actually surprised Troll used everything. Like BKB, uh, Ult, and Satanic. I'm not sure if he needed to, but because of that, they're able to uh, force them back. Still, can you do anything in this timing? Because it's the window is closing, you have 45 more seconds without the BKB. And realistically, you can't kill him. You can't hit kill him twice. Alchem's brewing up, but yeah, not gonna jump anyone. Oh boy. Just. Oh, well, the fact we are in this position. How are you gonna play from a deficit on Team Zero? I will add, though. Their late game fights have been very good against a lot of teams once they've been getting to the stage. But let's see how difficult it is going to be, because you have the ecstatic feeling of leading game two and feeling like you're going to take it, and then you lose two fights, and is the confidence still there or not? This is a very young team led by Erika or YSR against the experienced members of Azure. They've got some EHO members here as well, come on. They, they've been around. 
they've done something like they've they've had some success i like the zzq and 70 combo as well the singaporean boy ponlo i don't know it's always fun to watch him like it, I, I always feel like when i'm watching him like he's half trolling it, you know what I mean? It, it's like yeah, have no clowning idea. in the game and it's still kind of working. They're going top though. He has to clown defend the top lane though. And they make it... No acid spray even to delay it with combo. There we go. The first nice impale. Stun connected. X maybe. Yeah, just poke and force them back. What's the Aegis timer? One more minute. We have one more minute to defend the high ground, roll back in. Oh, Bach gets the angle. Onto the bat right, even speeds him out of the base as well. Beautiful spear. They want a counter though. Why is him? Seminole crashes him with the rolling thunder as well. All or nothing for this fight. Buybacks are there. And they're just completely kiting low. Who cares about him? Get the supports. And now deal with the first slap and set up for round two. It's all up to Ori with the zip in. They're gonna make sure they don't group up for the Vortex, and now with the chain control, Troll in some danger. BKB is gonna be activated along with the Battle Trance as well, but they hold the lasso for the BKB, and it's not gonna matter in the end. Lo will not win the man fight when every single hero is surrounding him. Now they can just do it the old-fashioned way. Poke, prod, bam him out. The old-fashioned way. Five on one. <laughs> the old, good old-fashioned way, just, just kill him. Uh, yeah, nice, very nice defense by Team Zero, Polo doing so much damn work, I really, really think that if you are Azure, you need to deal with this lion. The same way Team Zero was jumping FY in that last game, even dooming him on the Shadow Shaman, you have to do the same thing to this lion. They have a lot of control with other heroes, sure, certainly, but they're on lo longer cooldowns, like once this Rolling Thunder is off, like it's hard for Pango to do as much, even with the Bash. Sure. You know what, Lion is just one impale, hex, mana drain, impale again, hex, like, you gotta kill him. Last so. They're actually gonna be the first one to start. Techies, gonna buy back at least on FY. BKB, bah. Oh, the bash, no way. No way the bash is there. Do, do they really want to commit? Oh, the buyback. They see this oh. as an opportunity, there's a buyback on low. I mean, let's see how it's gonna be able to get into the team fight, though. Low. He beats into the middle, but always out of mana and soon to be out of health. Buy He's got a buyback at least. Okay, so he doesn't buy back, but Troll does. This looks like a, a, just a mess to me. Like you buy, you bought that control, you didn't defend. This storm. What's he buying? What, what's he going? Oh, he's, he's queuing up the BKB, but. You have BKB on Bach, like he could go in. You smoke Bach though, and then buy back. They have Easy Kemper Rage. Looking the lasso blink getting. Which oh, double stun. Oh, to double stun. And now Ori with the buyback as well. With the Vortex. It's at least gonna help Loki get into the middle, but does he win the man fight? Worst wise side, it looks like he will. Lo brings down the Alchemist. Beyond, Beyond will escape and 70 also are out as well, but AR, that is a very, very costly defense. Multiple buybacks used on some big cores. Uh, still, really nicely done by Ori to control the Alchemist before the stun. Like, he actually, uh, once again, used Unstable Concoction on himself, so he self-stunned after the Agonim's pull. Like you said, however, they need to get something done off of that because... It's a huge commitment. All these buybacks, they are hurting you. If Roshan was about to respawn or something like that, it would be worth it. But like this, it's just so tough to say that they won anything off of that. Because they really haven't. They need to force some buyback, maybe. Can you, though? Let's see. Bangalier smoked up. They have Glyph as well. Lion is up in three. I mean... The problem with forcing a buyback in this situation is if you overcommit and try to force a buyback and you do force it, they can end the game if they win that fight because you're pushing high ground, they can initiate it on you easily and you don't have a mid set of Raxes, so your throne is exposed. Perfect position for Team Zero. Even though they're only 5k ahead right now, 
they do have buybacks on the, their side and mm -hmm. that might decide the game. I my big question mark is just this late game troll versus alchemist now. Because you, you have the abyssal and troll and importantly you know the level twenty five talent is huge. No, I, I, I think it's just a good troll matchup in general. It's just that um, they were usually very much behind and they didn't have uh, good control or the troll on, on Radiant's side. Meanwhile, <clears throat> Dyer was just doing well. Let, and have this Rolling Thunder, you have the Stun from Beyond, you have the Impale, the Mana Drain, the, everything from Ponlo. Let's see. There's Ancient Guardian on Alchemist, so some extra bonus damage for him. And you can see AR yielding this rush fight for now at least. Okay. Clear off all the mines at least. No slight vision advantage for Radiant. Top is getting pushed in, so it is some creeps inside the base. Radiant will have to deal with mid as well. They've got a smoke to contest. They do, they've got one. You have this outpost advantage if Rosh spawns right now. It will spawn while it's still on Radiant, but how big is the outpost advantage when you don't have buybacks? That's the problem. Like, you really don't have them, so... Rush fights have been good for Radiant, for uh, Azure, though. Yep. Like, rush okay. fights, they kind of clutch it always. Wait, they might just get the Sentinel while he's connecting to the team if they're quick. They're gonna see the Batrider Courier as well. And they're gonna see the Sentinel. Dude, this is huge! Bark jumps in low! He's right nearby to be able to fall with the initiation! And he used something the perfect timing! Stopped twice up, and importantly, Beyond's able to get away thanks to the Stampede. Now it's up to Lone Wise up with the man fight. Beyond's gonna be able to reinitiate, and they got the troll! A dive back is online, and now 70 as well. Ori, it's all or nothing. But the Storm's ready, just doesn't have the mana to be able to win the team fight for AR. And it looks like Team Zero may have done it. They'll catch up to the Storm Troop. Triple kill for YSR. And game two should go their way. This looks very, very much like 1-1. One, one. Uh, the question is, they know there are no buybacks. There's no question. You just go straight down mid, you end this. You, you're going for Throne. Can Bach do it alone with Crystal Maiden? Let's see. This is some ultimate defense. It, what does CM have? Let's see. I mean, I know they can't do it. I'm just <laughs> entertaining myself here with some Freezing Field and Mars Arena, but they don't even have Freezing Field. You just... Buybacks are not Radiant up, not gonna be up. AC on the Alchemist. He's getting the bonus damage uh, from the Ancient Guardian as well. He is, right? Like, he, you're getting it even if you're. It just says off yeah, yeah. an Ancient, it doesn't say your Ancient. Getting the bonus damage. Uh, if they want a defense, they're gonna go. And yeah, no, uh, it doesn't matter. It's good. Alright! Chief. Good one, one time! Well done, Team Zero. I mean, this was a very back and forth game, though. I missed. Mean, so the Alchemist for a while was starting to look a little bit scary. Then AR have the lead, then Zero have the lead, then AR have the lead, then we go back and forth.